In this lecture, we are uh, gonna discuss about data pre-processing in machine learning. Uh, so, data pre-processing is a process of uh, preparing the raw data and making it uh, suitable for a machine learning model. And uh, it is the first and crucial step while creating a machine learning model. When creating a machine learning model or project, it is not always a case that we come across the clean and formatted data and while doing any operation with data it is uh, mandatory to clean uh, clean that particular project and put in formatted way so for this we use data pre-processing task yeah uh, now why we need this process uh, Definitely a real world data generally contains noises, missing values and maybe in, a, in an unstable or unusable format which con cannot be directly used for machine learning models. So data pre-processing is required task for cleaning the data and making it suitable for a machine learning model which also increases the accuracy and efficiency of a machine learning models. It involves basically uh, these uh, five, I think, five steps uh, that is basically getting the uh, data set, then importing libraries, then importing data sets, then finding the missing data, again encoding categorical data, uh, then splitting data set into training and test set, then finally feature scaling. So our first step is getting the data set so uh, to create a machine learning model the first thing we required is a data set as a machine learning model completely works on data the collected data for a particular problem in a proper format is known as the data set okay so data set may be of different format or for different purposes such as uh, if we if we want to create a machine learning model for business purpose and uh, uh, you know then data set will be different with the data set required for a liver patient for and so each data set is different from another data set so to use the data set in our code we usually put it into a csv file however sometimes we may also need to use html files or uh, excel files uh, excels other extension files so first of all what is csv file we need to uh, know about csv csv stands for comma separated values it is a file format which allows us to save the tabular data such as uh, the spreadsheet and etc it is useful for huge data sets and can use these data sets in programs so here we uh, we will use a demo data set for data pre-processing and for patients and for practice it can be downloaded from this uh, these two uh, links and you know for real problems we can download data set online from various resources not such these two resources but but a lot of more resources we can also create our data set by gathering data using various APIs with Python and put that data into a CSV file. Uh, for our code, I am generating, uh, I have generated a CSV file. Uh, yeah, this CSV file. So, uh, a simple data set which contains uh, 11 uh, rows and 4 columns. So our next step is basically importing libraries. After getting this data set, now importing libraries. So uh, in order to perform data pre-processing using Python, we need to uh, you know, import some uh, predefined uh, Python libraries. And these libraries are used to uh, perform some specific jobs so there are three specific libraries that we will use for data pre-processing which are uh, numpy and uh, matplotlib and uh, pyplot uh, numpy 
python library and it is used for including any type of mathematical operation in the code and it is the fundamental package for scientific calculation in python and uh, it also supports to add large and multi-dimensional arrays and matrices so in python we can import it as uh, simply uh, using import numpy as nm or you can use an import numpy as np as usual so here we uh, have used np which is a short name of numpy and it will be used in the whole program our second library is matplotlib and uh, this is basically a second library which is a python 2d plotting library and with this library we need to import a sub library pyplot and this library is used to plot any type of charts in python for the code it, it will be imported like import matplot.pyplot as plt also we have pandas the last library is the pandas uh, which is one of the most famous python library and used for importing and managing the data sets and it is an open source data manipulation and analysis library and it will be imported as uh, import pandas as pd so here uh, pd has a short name for this library now our third step is importing the data set and uh, we need to import the data set which we have collected for our machine learning project but before importing our data set we need to set the current dictionary as a working directory so to to set a working directory in spider ide or uh, jupyter notebook or something else we need to set a working uh, directory in spider ide so first step is save your python in the directory which contains the data set as i saved here okay and then go to file explorer options in uh, jupyter and select the required directory then simply click f5 button or run option execute the file so now if uh, now to import the data set we will use the uh, read csv file of pandas library which is used to read a csv file and perform various operations on it and also using this we can read a csv file locally as well as through an url but in this project we are using a locally uh, we have this data set and okay so so simply uh, we can use this function and here data set is a name of the variable okay and uh, a variable to store our data set and inside the function we have passed the name of our data set once we execute uh, this line it will successfully import the data set in our uh, code we can also check the imported data set by clicking on the this run button so run this first import libraries then import the data set then uh, run this print button also run this button so this is the data set and in machine learning it is important to distinguish the matrix of features and independence variables and dependent variables from data set so in our data set there are three independence variable that are uh, country age and salary okay uh, let me show you in yeah country age then again salary and one is a dependent variable which is purchased okay this purchased so to extract an independent variable we will use ilOC this one method uh, this is a method of pandas library and it is used to extract the required rows and columns from the data set so in this code uh, the first colon is used to take all the rows and the second colon is uh, used for, uh, used for all the all the columns and here we have used 
minus 1 because we don't want to take the last column as it contains the dependent variable so by doing this we will get the matrix of features and by executing this code we will get this output as shown you can see this and we can see there is only three variables in this uh, in this uh, you know uh, output and then uh, to extract dependent variables again we will use pandas um, uh, this method okay so here we have taken all the rows with the last column only and it will give the array of dependent variables so by executing this code uh, we will get output as array and so on but remember if you are using the python language for machine learning then extraction is mandatory but for our language it is not required i am also giving you uh, the our language uh, examples which you, which you can use for this purpose simply go to this repository machine learning udemy and data pre-processing in python also we have data pre-processing in our language so i have given this also yeah same code in our language version is also available at this repository so simply you can go this repository and section 4 also you have data pre-processing in our language also we have uh, data pre-processing template for your understanding uh, this is just a template not a complete code this this one is complete code for your understanding now our next step is data pre-processing -process is to handle missing data and uh, if our data set contains some missing data then it may create a huge problem for our machine learning model hence it is necessary to handle missing values present in the data sets so way to handle missing data is there are two ways uh, by which one is by deleting the particular row second is by calculating the mean so if we are talking about by deleting the particular row the so the first way is to use to commonly deal with null values in this way we just delete the specific row or column which consists of null values but this way is not so efficient and removing data may lead to loss or information will be, uh, which will not give in the accurate uh, output our second is calculating the mean uh, in this way we will uh, you know uh, calculate the mean of that column or row which contains any missing value and will put it on the place of miss uh, missing values so this strategy is useful for the features which have numeric data such as age salary year and etc so here we will use this approach so hand to handle missing values we will use uh, a library in our code uh, which is contains various libraries for this uh, for you know building machine learning models here we will use importer class of uh, sklearn preprocessing libraries so just run this library and So as you can see in uh, in this output, the missing values has been uh, replaced with the mean of rest column values. So our next step is uh, encoding categorical data. So basically, uh, categorical data is data which has some categorical uh, categories such as in our data set. There are two categorical uh, variables. Uh, that is country and purchased so since machine learning model completely works on mathematics and numbers but if our data set would have a categorical vari variable then it may uh, create trouble while building the model so it is necessary to in encode these categorical uh, variables into numbers so first we will convert the uh, country variables into categorical data so to to do this we will use the label encoder uh, function and uh, from pre-processing library so so first we use the uh, dummy variables uh, that is basically 
which have values 0 or 1 and the one value gives the uh, presence of that variable in a particular column and the rest values become a zero so with dummy encoding we will have a number of columns equal to the number of categories so in our data set we have three categories so it will produce three columns having zero and one value for uh, dummy encoding we will use the one hot encoder class of pre-processing uh, library as you can see here so okay so this function is used for this purpose so simply uh, run this code now secondly we will convert the country variables into categorical data so so to do this we will use the uh, label encoder function uh, this function and uh, from this this function is from pre-processing library so first again first we uh, run this program so as you can see we have imported label encoder class for sklearn library and this class has successfully in encoded the variables into digits but in our case there are three country variables as we we can see in the uh, this output these variables are encoded into 0 to 1 only and 2 okay so by these variables the machine learning model may assume that there is some uh, uh, correlation between these variables which will produce the wrong output so to remove this issue we will use the dummy encoding so uh, dummy in, uh, the example of dummy encoding is uh, above uh, this so I prefer this uh, I I always prefer this method so for second categorical variable we will only use the uh, label corner object for label encoder class here we are uh, you know uh, here we are not using one hot encoder class because the purchased variable has only two categories yes or no and which are automatically encoded into 0 to 1 now our uh, next step is splitting the data set into the training uh, set and test set so in machine learning data pre-processing we divide our data set into a training set and a test set and this is one of the crucial step of uh, data pre-processing as by doing this we can enhance the uh, performance of our machine learning model suppose if if we have given training to our machine learning model by a data set and we test it by a completely different data set then it will create difference uh, for our model to understand the correlation between the model and and if we train our model very well and its training accurately is also very high but we provide a new data set to it then it will decrease the performance so we always try to make a, a machine learning model which performs well with the training set and also with the test sets so for this purpose we have training set and test set training set means a subset of data set to train the machine learning model and we already know the output and test set is basically a subset of data set to test the machine learning model and by using the test set model predict the output so uh, for splitting the data set we will use this code so run this code first this is the example of x axis uh, trend data set basically in this code the first line is used for the splitting arrays of uh, uh, data set and uh, into random train and test subset and in second line we have used four variables for our uh, data that are uh, x train features for the training data set uh, and this one features for testing data set and this one is depends variable for training data and also we have uh, y test means this is independent variable for testing data so uh, in train test split function uh, also we have used this function here so uh, this past four parameters in which first two are for arrays for of data and test size is for uh, specifying the size of the test set then 
test size may be 5 3 or 2 which tells the uh, you know dividing ratio of training and testing sets so the last parameter random state is used to set a seed for random uh, generator so that you always get the same result and the most used values for this is 42 so by executing the uh, this complete code we will get four different variable which can be seen under the variable explorer this section okay so as we can see in the uh, this uh, outputs the x and y variables are divided into four different variables with corresponding values our next step is feature scaling uh, this is the final step of data pre-processing in machine learning and it is a technique to uh, standardize the independent variable of data set in a specific range and uh, in a feature scaling we put our variables in the same range and in the same scale so that no any variable dominate the other variable consider if we can see the age and salary column in this uh, data set so uh, so these are not on the same scale and a machine learning is based on the uh, distance formula and if 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 we do not scale the variable then it will cause some issues in our machine learning model so distance formula is uh, says that if we compute any two variables from age and salary then salary values will dominate the age values and it will produce an in, uh, incorrect result so to, to remove this issue we need to perform feature scaling for machine learning so the distance between a and b is equal to uh, square root of x2 minus x1 square plus x y2 minus y1 square then there are two ways to perform feature scaling in machine learning uh, number one is standardization and normalization second is standardization is uh, basically x is equal to what we can see original value means mean upon standard deviation and normalization means original value upon uh, maximum of x minus minimum of x so here we will use the standardization method for our data set for feature scaling we will import the uh, this function class of SQL and pre-processing library so first run this then we have to discuss now uh, we will create object of uh, standard scalar class for independent variables or features and then we will uh, fit and transform the training data set using uh, this function then for test data set we will directly apply the transform function instead of uh, you know fit transform function because it is already done in training data set so in output you can see here uh, just okay so by uh, by executing this code we will get the scaled value for x train and x text and we can see in this output all the variables are scaled between minus 0 to 1 uh, sorry minus 1 to 1 so here we have not scaled the dependent variable because there are only two variables only 0 and 1 and but if these variable will have more range of values then we will also need to scale those variables now in the end uh, we can combine all these steps together to make our uh, complete code uh, for more understanding so for this you you have to you have to uh, open this link and go to data pre-processing in python and simply go to uh, this file okay so this is the complete steps of in a combined way so in this uh, 
code we have included all the data uh, pre-processing steps together but there are some steps or lines or code which are not necessary for all machine learning models so we can exclude them from our code to make it uh, reusable for all models